you guys it's Rita and welcome back to my channel Raining Rita and I just want to jump right into it I have been growing peppers since probably May June um, and that's what I started when we were on um, quarantine and you know pulled out of school and I just kind of want to show you my journey about it because I really really have gotten super enthusiastic about plants and like growing them so let's jump right into it how this happened was I was cooking and I wanted some fresh thyme so I went to the grocery store, bought some fresh thyme, and then I had a pot that had like leftover soil in it, um, and I was keeping it on the windowsill by my thyme. I had bell peppers one day, and I threw some random bell pepper seeds in the pot. The issue is, I didn't know how many seeds I threw in there. I didn't even think they were going to grow. But one day, you know, I see one sprout, and I'm like, wow. And I had been watering it occasionally, but not anything to, you know, to assume that I was going to be taking care of this plant like vigorously like I am now. But one sprout became two and two became four and then four became eight. And I was just like, how many did I actually throw in there? How many seeds? And I think I maxed out at around 11. It's 10 of them. So they all just started sprouting literally one day, like one day at a time. I would see one, then I'd see another one about to break. And so now I have these 11 seeds and I'm like now researching how to take care of them because they're just growing so fast and so much. And the pot was like that I had them in was very, very, very little. So I did some more research and they talked about transplanting them once, you know, they grow too big or they outgrow their pot. So that's exactly what I did. Transplanted the right spike on the here. The easiest way I could. Went to the dollar store, bought a whole bunch of styrofoam 20 ounce cups. And I just kind of double cupped each plant, poked holes in one cup, put the plant in there with some soil, and then put another cup um, under it. And that was going to catch all the excess water from watering the plant. And they kept growing, and they kept growing, and they kept growing, and they were doing, doing so well. Got so enthusiastic about it that I bought some plants from Myers, our local grocery store. And it was um, a sweet pepper plant and um, a yellow bell pepper plant. They didn't have any fruit. They didn't have any buds on it. They were probably like six or seven weeks old. But I was just like, hey, let me get a jump start so that when my plants do come, I know how to take care of them. So they were like my trial and error plant. And the crazy thing is they started growing great, like super duper great. I immediately took those plants and um, had them outside and kept them outside. And, you know, they were growing beautifully. And I was just super excited. And then my first pepper on um, the sweet pepper plant came and I named her Delilah and then the bell pepper started to sprout and it was green and I was super duper ecstatic and you know I went through some mishaps one day after a huge storm overnight I wake up I walk outside to go check on my plants and it, the sweet pepper plant is completely knocked over and I literally tried to run and go get some potting soil because I didn't have any on hand um, I repotted the plant but even the pepper, Delilah, had been laying on the ground overnight for so long that it was getting pelted with water. Um, it just started rotting. And so my first pepper plant, I had to cut her off because I didn't want the plant to send all the nutrients to this one pepper that was already growing bad. Sorry, it's pretty windy. She got rained on so much that she is not in good shape. Like, she's rotting. So it sucks, but I'm actually going to cut her off, um, especially because we have, you know, a few more peppers coming in and, you know, a lot more flowers that are going to bloom. Um, luckily, a lot of other peppers were already growing and sprouting and I had a lot more flowers, so it was okay. Now, my other plants inside were doing just as well. They were growing so fast, so I was just like, I need them to get out of my kitchen because they started taking over my kitchen. And so I was like, okay, I need to transplant them. But first, before I transplant them, you have to harden them off. Because they've gotten so used to like this indoor environment, you know, my warm apartment and everything like that. They, they weren't used to any type of wind, any type of harsh sun or anything like that. So over the course of 10 days, I would bring them outside um, and let them get used to the elements like the wind, the water, the rain, or I guess water and rain is the same thing, and um, the sun. And I would just increase the time every day. So I started with 30 minutes on the first day, 
And then on the 10th day, I ended with almost, um, they were staying overnight for four days at a time. And they really, when they say talk to your plants, talk to your plants because they listen. Because on the second day, it was either the second or the third day of, of hardening them off, my biggest plant burnt. <laughs> like it was not handling the sun well at all. And I told my plant, I was just like, no, you're going through a lot right now. I know you're not used to these elements. I know you're used to being inside in a, a warm styrofoam cup. But in order for you to grow big and strong, you got to get out of my house and you have to beat this sun. Um, and they did well, you know, they listened to me and, you know, I left them outside and then um, they grew. And so I was like, super ecstatic. And then I ended up transplanting those into a bigger container now. So my pepper plants are huge, huge. And actually right now I'm on a way elective and so I'm actually staying with a friend who lives three hours away. And I was so close, you know, I'm go growing all this patience for my plants that I didn't want to just leave them with my neighbor and, you know, make sure she's watering them, blah, blah, blah. So I took them with me. <laughs> I packed them up in my trunk. Um, and I, I took them here with me to Detroit. And, you know, I'm tending to them before I leave early, early, early in the morning around 5 o'clock. And um, I'm watching all my beautiful peppers grow, and I love it. And I just want to say, um, you guys, it sounds so, like, cliche, but when you start growing your own food, when you start growing your own plants, I really do think philosophically it, it changes you because you have a newfound appreciation for food. You have a newfound appreciation for farmers. Um, you have a newfound appreciation for people who work in the farm and people who work in the fields collecting these plants because one, it takes patience. It really does take a lot of patience. It takes um, a lot of love, a lot of love of, you know, my plant is kind of wilting. That means it's either hot or maybe I'm actually watering it too much. Um, you have to really be attentive to it. And one time I was actually almost late for my rotation because it was storming and my plants are all in containers, so I was trying to move them inside. And I actually lost a whole branch of um, pepper sprouts because of the storm. It like literally snapped in half. But growing these plants really teaches you um, to appreciate a lot more. I cannot throw away or have veggies or fruits go bad in my fridge anymore because I'm just like, Imagine how long it took to grow this one, you know, fruit. And if you look at all, all these timestamps on my video, it starts in like June, early June, really late May. And now it's, it's August, it's August 30th. So it's been almost three months and I'm barely harvesting my fruit. So definitely I would say if you guys are looking for something to do, I'm looking for something that you can care to and, and attend to. Um, go ahead and, and grow some plants like I, I promise you it will change your outlook on life because it definitely has changed mine um, so thanks for listening I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update of what I've been doing this is one of the few things I've been doing um, since the end of my third year I'm now in my second block of my fourth year um, I'm still on anesthesia and I completely love it and um, yeah um, if you guys have any questions don't hesitate to email me. You can reach me on my Instagram or my Twitter. The name is all the same, Raining Rita. Um, comment anything that you like. If you are also growing your own plants or if you picked up any hobby during COVID or the pandemic. Um, and you guys, if you're not into medicine and you're just kind of stumbling upon my video because you're into gardening or you're into plants or whatever the case may be, um, I'm super in right now. I'm even thinking about what kind of apartment I'm going to get next year to make sure I get the right sun, um, to have a really an apartment garden on my patio. So comment any suggestions. I would love, love reading them. I look forward to talking to you again. Um, and take care of yourself. Howard, I know that's something that I wanted to do when I transplanted them. So let them stay outside for an hour um, and they got worse so 
This is doing pretty good. These are doing pretty good. All of these. see some growth so that is going to be um, a bell pepper and this right there you know that is a bell pepper these are actually doing pretty well so I don't know you guys it's actually the end of the growing season so I won't get much growth sorry I junk because I thought I heard but they're turning colors. I don't know what that is. They're turning colors.